Witches, my name's Miss Fortunate, and I bet you're wondering why I'm standing. I don't know. But I bet you're also wondering what the fuck happened to my hair. Well, I dyed it. Again, because, um, my other hair color, which used to be red, if you watched any of my later vi er, bleh, earlier videos, it used to be, like, really bright red, like my shirt, which is Red Hot Chili Peppers, I really like it. I keep looking at myself in the mirror because I need to be... Ew. I dyed it because it was getting really faded and I wanted to dye it again. Mm. Also, I've been really missing having a natural hair color, so that's also a thing. So yeah, I'm, uh, the last time I dyed my hair I made a whole big video about it that was like um, the transition from when I bleached my hair and I was completely blonde, which was amazing, to when I had you know, red hair, and uh, I didn't do it for this video, sorry, I know that you like watching me be really full of myself, <laughs> but, um, no, but I just wanted to show you because in the next few videos that I'm going to upload for the month of September, uh, it's going to be with my other hair color, uh, so I wanted you to see this and, you know, mm. it not be too outdated by the time. I actually have a video with this, so, um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> now I'm going to let you continue on with the video that you're wanting to watch, so, hope you enjoy it. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. <laughs> ha. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you. I guess so. Dot, dot, dot. To tell, you, to tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Get to the po got to the point I used to wish... What? <laughs> got to the point I used to wish I could take a vacation from life. Got my wish, didn't I? <laughs> you send it. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Man, who consulted a genie? Psh, yeah, monkey's paw. Or genie. It's probably a genie. Genie's always throwing tricks and stuff. Ah, God. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing at her gut a lot. She's pregnant. Wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. I probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. Um... I think this happened in the other house, so I'm gonna do this one. You okay there? I point toward her stomach with the back of my hand. Oh, yeah. It's gotten a little better, but... I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. Baby. Man, how horrible would that be? Having to, like, being pregnant during the zombie apocalypse and knowing that you'd either die giving birth to your kid or your kid would die giving birth or, like, they'd have to live in such a horrible place. That really sucks. Oh, that makes me so sad. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ, I'm not really... I, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid, I can stitch up a cut, but... Gastric distress is a bit beyond me. <laughs> okay, I guess that's also a thing. I think we should stop and rest. 
Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Uh, right, the fuel. If everything wasn't so weird these days anyway, I'd call it suspicious that there was only a single tank's worth left. Not much we can do about that though. Onward it is then. All of the colors. Oh, so pretty. Dot dot dot. Oh, she's in pain. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And it real. And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Didn't I used to? Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life is worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. Well, you're in a world full of zombies, so... The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. Hey, you know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we're really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple months, I just... kept working, kept on like everything was fine. And then... Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but... Your old man. What happened? I killed him. My dad? <laughs> So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. It just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so is my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great, now I feel like I want to puke. <laughs> hey. Please, don't say things like that, Gertrude. One of us has to keep this up. Oh, let's be cute as hell. I slide my right hand off the wheel. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Oh, Her hand is resting by her leg near the center console, so I reach over. Her hand jerks when I touch it, but she doesn't pull away. Cute. Cute. Oh. You're so sweet. Wow. Her skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window is open? Yeah. Maybe it's because she's sick. Oh, maybe she's really sick. Really wish I knew a bit more medical shit right about now. Actually, if she had a fever, shouldn't she be hotter? A chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But... We're still here, just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy, isn't it? Ha. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. 
about your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. Hmm. Hmm. I love this game so much. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast. I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. I wonder if there is anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Okay, great. I... Just as she starts talking, the engine gives an unsettling sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It sputters a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With a pitiful clattering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. I noticed the fuel light click on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. The car rolls down the pavement until it can't anymore and we amble to a stop. I really thought the gas would last a little longer than that. Bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? God, if I wasn't hoping for later. We bought this car used after all. It co it's cost efficient, but not so much fuel efficient. Yeah. Wonder how far the next gas station is. It'd be nice if there was some signs around here or something. Yeah. I can't believe we've got this song without seeing any. Come on, this one. <laughs> I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights, I can't see how this could be. Like civilization just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace, trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could have seen them. It's gotten so dark and without the street lights. Yeah. Hey. How fast do you think you can run? to run anymore. About average, I guess. Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down to her stomach again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She felt so damn cold. I don't know. I don't know if there's a point. Not much point to anything. Not anymore. Maybe not. It's too damn dark anyhow. In all the likelihood one of us would probably trip and fall. It'd be pretty sad to make it this far just to die from a bust up face. <sighs> Please just smile. Oh, yeah, I would. Anyway, there's nothing we can do until the sun rises. I stare out the window. The sky's clouded, but if I squint, I can see faint lights in the back. The breeze through the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight, then, huh? In more ways than one. 
Yeah. Could be worse anyway. At least the air smells nice. Yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can adjust the angle, but even when I yank on it, the damn thing won't budge. Oh god. Used car. Right. Ugh, if you haven't guessed it. I try and get comfy the best I can. I only hope that she can too. It's gonna be a long night. Well, good night then. It's so dark now. It's not much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in and out and wait for sleep. I hope we can s I hope we see the morning. It's like, this one seems so much more emotional to me. Oh man. Oh man, you kind of have to watch both of them because whenever you combine the two, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. <laughs> it's so much better playing it. You have no idea. Okay. Okay. Oh man, it's so much different when you play it for yourself because it, it feels like you get so much more attached to the characters and I'm not used to that because I never play any games. So this was like a whole different thing for me. So like this is the first actual kind of game kind of thing that I actually went through and played. So oh my god, I got so attached to the characters. And, oh my god. Oh, I'm so sad. <clears throat> um, okay, so I'm gonna talk spoilers now, so if you haven't seen the other run or you don't know what happened or anything, then I suggest you might want to leave the video now, um, thanks for watching if you're leaving, but, um, oh god, so in the other one, like, she got, she got infected or something on her stomach, and like at first, I actually did think like, oh man, she's pregnant. And, oh man, that really sucks to be pregnant during the zombie apocalypse. But then it's like, oh no. Oh god. And just like... <clears throat> man, I, I don't want to like compare too much to Jack's thing. But he said like, you can kind of tell when the game is going on. That like, the ending isn't going to be exactly happy. And like, watching this like, just confirms that all. Because like, even after watching the other one... Like, I could imagine it, like, she turns into a zombie and, like, you know, grabs him, eats him, whatever, and it's like that, but then, like, watching this, like, she asked him, like, how fast can you run, and he's just like, no, poor baby, and, um, and, like, whenever he tried to, like, open the door a little and it wouldn't budge, like, oh, man, that just confirms that he, whenever... She actually did turn that he probably didn't survive that and that makes me so sad. Oh. Oh. My heart. The feels. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is such a small game. Why am I getting so emotional over this? I, I love them so much. Oh. Oh. Mm. Anyway, th that I love this game. I loved watching it. I could probably watch again. I could probably play it again. Um, <clears throat> I guess it would be kind of cool if it had like different endings. But then again, I still like that ending fine. I love how like you can see different like things in each person that you play. Like, like just details, you know and. That was... Mm, I really like this game. Oh, I'm having feelings. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That was The Shadows That Run Alongside Our Car. 
about the zombie apocalypse and shit. Game where I'm having feelings. And that's that's pretty great. <clears throat> um Man, I freaking loved Man, what did I even name him? What did Harambe <laughs> I <laughs> Throughout the entire thing, oh man. No Harambe, rest in peace. Dicks out for Harambe, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. Um <clears throat> man, I really like this character. They just man, they need to be best friends, and I I don't wanna accept that ending that they're both gonna die, but of course I gotta be realistic that I mean I guess you can hope, but, oh, jeez, um, so that was, that was the game, I'm gonna link it in the description if you want to play it for yourself, I suggest that you should, um, you can play either this one, choose whatever decisions that I didn't, see how that goes, or play, um, the girl's route, what did I name her, Gertrude, play her route, um, or her character, I don't know, I feel, I don't want to really call it a route, because it's like, it doesn't have a different ending, it's just a different, you know, um, view on things, but whatever. Um, you should really play it. It's, it's great. It's way, it's way better when you play it for yourself. Probably like all games, but I'm not used to that, so I kind of, mm, um, but if not, I guess, um, I guess just kind of watch people play it. I mean, I watched Jack play the girls' version. And that, then I played the boys version because I didn't want to replay that because I already knew everything. But, um, <clears throat> also I feel bad for, like, kind of, like, faking a reaction about, like, oh, she's pregnant, she's pregnant, and stuff like that. Like, I don't mean, I don't want to, like, fake reactions. I normally don't. But it was just kind of this kind of thing. I, want, I wanted to play it for myself, but I already knew what happened. And I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, so I just kind of, I didn't want to spoil it. So technically, all of the things that I said and the things that I thought were all things that either went through my mind when I first watched it or were going through my mind as I was playing it and like, it just kind of was there. So, um, anyway, uh, hmm, huh. Oh game gets me okay well um i guess comment what you thought of the game um i i don't know <laughs> um i guess if there's any other games that you want me to try to play preferably short ones and free ones because i'm poor um i guess tell me about them down below link them whatever i don't care <laughs> um just you know whatever Never talk to me. I like to hear from you. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Peace out, bitches. Don't get eaten by zombies. And don't let your friends turn into zombies and then eat you. That would be bad. So I realized that the entire video where I was doing the intro it was out of focus, so you can kind of see it better now, I think. Maybe. It's pretty nice. I like it. Tell me what you think of it in the comments.